So Surging Sparks is a few weeks away from being officially released, and as usual, people are grossly overpaying for these cards. I guess out of FOMO? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back. You're watching the channel, Dr. Applesauce 2. My name's Will. It's another beautiful day here in Texas. I hope you guys know that I love you, God loves you, and that there is an awesome plan for your life. That's right. Surging Sparks comes out here in a couple weeks. I think last weekend was pre-release weekend, which I sadly missed. And I will say, Surging Sparks looks pretty solid. It looks like it's going to be a really fun set. But where are we always at two weeks before a set comes out, a few weeks before a set comes out? People spending way too much money on the cards, and then the cards drop by 50%, and people are sad, and oh my god, I should have spent all this money. I want to show you what not to do, okay? Here's what not to do with these sets, because people are paying out the rear end for these cards. Drop me a comment down below, my friends. Let me know which card do you want to pull the most from Surging Sparks. Lots of people are stoked about the Pikachus and the Latios and the Latias, which I can agree are really nice cards. So the one that is really, really kind of being grossly, uh, I don't know if it's being taxed or people are just paying out the wazoo for it for some reason, is the Pikachu EX Special Illustration Rare. I'm gonna be honest with you guys. This card, to me, is okay. I love Pikachu, but it's just an okay looking card. I think it would have been a lot cooler if it got that really nice alternate art looking treatment uh, like some of the other cards did. But this Pikachu, people are spending, guys, $350 sold on eBay a few days ago. $280, $350 for the raw card. And people are like, well, I watched this person on Whatnot uh, open 27 boxes and it was a really hard pull. Yeah, it's it, cards are hard to pull. Like that doesn't mean it's worth 350 bucks. What's gonna happen when everybody else gets the set and there's 10,000 times as many people pulling it, you're gonna have an exponential amount of cards available on the market. This card, is okay looking. I, I want to have it. I'm not spending $350 on it. You can absolutely guarantee that, but it's absolutely going crazy in value. And it's not going to be a $350 card. We're gonna, we've seen this time and time again. It's going to go down in price. So be patient. Next is the Latius EX Special Illustration where I wish the Pikachu would have got the art treatment like this. I love the rainbow around the Pikachu, but I wish it would look like this. The Latius EX, and they should have done a, a Latios EX as well with uh, the Special Illustration Rare treatment. Uh, going for a crazy amount of money as well. $200, $240. Looks like somebody got a, got one for 128 bucks. I could see this card being in the hundreds, but this card be selling for $240, $250, like, like per usual, right, guys, is incredibly, incredibly high. Another one is the not special illustration rare version of the Pikachu EX. Uh, basically, the Pikachu EX full art. This is the full art EXs that you pull all the time. 50 bucks for the Pikachu. This is a $20 card. This is going to be a $20 card. This is not, not going to be a $50 card. You get one of these like full art EXs in every single booster box, uh, if I'm not mistaken. You're not necessarily going to get the Pikachu, but you get a full art EX like this in every single booster box. $55, $79, $60, crazy town. And then we have the Latios Illustration Rare. Very strange. They gave the Latios an illustration rare and the Latias a special illustration rare. Why not give them both the same treatment? I don't really understand that. Maybe there's a rhyme or a reason to it. This car, $100, $62, $75, $70, $50. Again, this is probably going to end up being a $20, $30, $40 card eventually. Really, really high price on that card. And these are just like the four most, I guess, coveted and sought after that are in the set. Now, the interesting thing is if you look at the actual sealed product, I will give this caveat. The sealed product on pre-sale on TCG Player is holding very, very well. Uh, you've got booster boxes that are about $140 a booster box. That doesn't, in my opinion, justify the massive, massive prices of some of these cards. It's all hype and FOMO, but that looks healthy, right? There's going to be excitement because this is a Pikachu set. It's like if it was a big Charizard set, there's going to be excitement behind it. Like the 151, there was a lot of excitement behind it because of 151. So this actually looks healthy numbers. We're, the days are gone of the $90, $95 booster boxes because everybody thought Scarlet and Violet was Garbo. Pokemon is bringing the big guns with Scarlet and Violet after the first few years of the set, like I've been saying for the past few years, and like they do with every single set. We got a couple years of building a base, and then a couple years of super dope, epic, hyped, awesome some cards. Uh, booster boxes pre-sale in uh, about 140 bucks. Super, super great price uh, or a super healthy price. You got your booster bundle still about 26 bucks to be a good, solid, healthy release. Give the video a thumbs up because it helps a lot and it's free for you to do that. And like I always say, my friends, find somebody to love and serve today. Be the change you want to see in the world. See you next time.